So in this video, we are going to explore comments and also constants. Okay. So we'll start off with constants. What is a constant? Okay. So we've seen variables whereby you put a value into something. Okay. But a variable can actually vary. So let's say, I don't know, we call variable name equals Billy Joe. Okay. And then we print name. Right. Let's run that. We get Billy Joe. You can actually just use the word name now that that variable has been established as existing and we can change its value. So we can say that name is now equal to Yusuf Maserati. I think a Maserati is a car. It doesn't really matter. And if I print that, the name variable should actually print out Yusuf Maserati, uh, which shows that the value of name, the variable has changed. Okay. I can do this with other variables. So I can do this with a number variable and we'll say that number variable one is equal to six and we'll print num one. And I can also make it then equal to 99 and then we can print num one. Um, what will happen here is I'll get the number six below here printed in the first one. And the value of num one will be changed to 99 here. And then when we print num one, because it will have its value changed to 99, it'll print 99. So it should print six and 99 in addition to the rest. There you are. However, let's say that you don't want uh, your you know thing to change. You want something that's a that's constant that's consistently the same reasons that you might want this i don't know uh let me just think of one actually i do know i'm lying to you so in order to declare something that's constant and never changes we use this we use the three letters l e t and we call it let okay and we'll say let human legs equals two Okay, and then we'll print human legs, right, and we get two. Okay, so what what's the logic here? Why would we want human legs to be always two? Okay, well, generally, let's say, I don't know, we want to produce a human. Generally, they have two legs, right? I know some people are born with three legs, people can lose legs, whatever. But let's say we've got a game and we want all the characters uh, to be generically the same. All the models have the same proportions. We want them to have two legs, two arms, a head, etc., etc. So we would want that to not change unless you know something else happened. But we'd want it to basically be the same so we can reuse this value over and over again, right? So we use the word let and it makes this value always that. If I now try and assign human legs the value 92 it shouldn't work it might come up with an error i think there we go cannot assign to value human legs is a let constant all right and basically what's that say what that is saying is i cannot turn that into or i cannot change the value because it's a constant a let constant specifically right i didn't really demonstrate that variables can be changed but they can so you, now you know <laughs> right but let constants cannot be changed so we'll say let uh, name two be johnny b okay and we print name two and if we try to change name two, so we'll just print that we'll we'll show you that it prints out uh, Johnny B and human legs is two. There we are. And then we'll try and change it like uh, I did before. And we'll say name two is now equal to Colin. Oop. I definitely need quotation marks. Colin Anderson. Right. This will not work. It's the same error. It's a let constant, right? 
I'll sort of put this away so it doesn't interfere with that. And that's that's really all there is to constants. You know, it's that simple. Variables can be changed and vary. I think you can actually change the data type of a variable. I'll try it. If you can't, we'll learn something new. And, you know, I'll explain why it worked or it didn't. So, I don't know. Let's say num1 is equal to just, just a string. Will that work? I don't know. No, it doesn't. So, apparently, um, yeah, you can't change the... Uh, you can't change the values of... Um, we can't change the data type of an already established thing. So I could change that value to 99 there, but I can't change it to a different data type. Should have mentioned that in data types thing, but anyway, I didn't. I'm a bad boy. Anyways, yeah, the idea of let is that, you know, it always remains the same. It seems, it remains constant. Somewhere else this might be useful. So it might be useful in a name. Let's say you've got a list of thousands of names and whatever. People generally aren't changing names, so it's probably going to be a constant thing for 20, 30 years. Maybe some people, when they get married, whatever. But you could probably use the first the first name they ever gave you, right? Let's say we want a truth value. So, uh, I don't know. Fact. We'll, we'll, call, we'll call this fact, right? And we'll say that a fact is true. Yeah? And we'll say that a falsehood is false this will always be the case something that's true will always that's inherently true it's a fact will always be true something that's a falsehood uh, will always be false for example right and we'll just run that now and we'll print the both out so we'll print fact and we'll print falsehood And it could come out with true and false below Johnny B. There we are. And now I'll try and change fact to be false. You can't make facts false. They're always true. Uh, just like you cannot change constants. They're always the same. So there you are, more or less. That's more or less all, all you need to know about constants, right? All you need to know about constants. Now... Oh, I'm sorry, this bloody uh, virtual environment isn't great. Now, the next thing I want to move on to is comments, right? Because this is pretty simple. You can do the um, practice after this. So comments, right? These here, you know, these little green things are comments, right? Um, what a comment is, is basically a line of code um, that, is, isn't read when you press the run button or you run the code. It's not actually read by the machine. It's just there visually so that when someone looks at the code, they can understand it, right? So you might want to explain to someone, this is a comment. It is read, but it is not read by the, not read by the machine. It is used to explain things to a user slash programmer, right? And in order to make a comment, I just use two forward slashes and yeah, that is it. And you put your comment. So I'll just put this is a comment, right? Easy peasy. The problem with these double slash comments is they only work on one line. So if I put FER here, you'll notice that that's white um, because this line has ended now. So this isn't actually commented anymore, right? So in order to remedy that, we can make what is more known as a multi-line comment. And we use a slash, this star symbol. I've forgotten the name of this star symbol. And we just write whatever we want. Hello there, my friend. This is a multi-line comment and can be used on multiple lines. Okay, I'll just put something underneath this comment. Um, I'll just print something out just so that what you can see that here it's green and it's a comment and here 
it's no longer a comment right just so you can see that difference so hello there my friend this is a multi-line comment could be used more on multiple lines as shown here right so this here this forward slash uh, followed by this sort of six uh, six figured star snowflake thing i've forgotten what they're called i don't really care that much what the real name is doesn't matter this is how you initiate a multiple line comment whereby you can put many lines of text uh, that won't ever be read by the machine yeah so we got that now to end the multiple line comment we need to use this star thing i think it's called an asterisk then another slash and then here i'll print again one and as you can see it's white okay so this comment can be used for multiple lines the start starts wherever this thing is here oh i just copied and pasted that somehow by accident and it ends at one of these like that okay started like that ended like this all right let's run that it should run now there's hopefully no errors in it and you know this print two and print one should should really happen yeah there we are so we got true false from the falsehood and the fact thing we got printing of two and printing of one but if you notice this none of this has been printed uh, that's because it's been commented out with single line comments this hasn't been printed because all of it has been uh, commented out with multiple line comments this hasn't been printed either humanly see none of this has been printed or run okay and that's because it's commented out all right now what you would use a comment for is if you have a particularly difficult piece of code or you don't fully understand something and you want to you want to remind yourself why you did something or what it what it means essentially or maybe you want to explain that to someone else not just yourself you put it in a comment you, and you actually you know you actually comment on your code that's why it's called a comment so for example here with human legs equals two i could put a comment and i will put a comment saying let initiate a constant i.e a value that never changes okay and if we run that, we run the same lot. It looks like it hasn't changed because it hasn't. I have run it, and you'll see that this hasn't actually been, uh, you know, run. It hasn't been registered by the machine. And that's basically the purpose of comments, just to kind of clarify, to explain to people, whether it be yourself or someone else, what the code does, or just, you know, anything really, you know. Anyway, that's it really. So you've learned a little bit about constants. Uh, bit more about variables and also comments. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.